Hi, my name is Fernando, and I'm a technical marketing manager here at GitLab. And today I'm going to show you some of the new security features in GitLab 14.6. The first thing I wanted to go over is that the GitLab agent's activity information is now recorded. You can monitor your cluster's activity to help you detect and troubleshoot faulty events and rest assured when they succeed. In order to do this, we go to Infrastructure, Kubernetes Clusters. Here we see a list of our active agents within the project. We click on one and we can see the activity for that particular agent. Another cool feature is that we've added SaaS support for .NET 6. This is done through an update to the .NET SaaS Analyzer Security Code Scan, which we've updated to support the .NET 6 version. Here we have a pipeline on a .NET project with SaaS enabled. When we click on the Security tab, we can see that vulnerabilities were detected. This one is a weak random number generator. We can click on the file and see exactly what's causing this vulnerability. Or we can click on the identifier to get more detailed information on the vulnerability. Container scanning results can now be seen in the dependency list. You'll be able to see your container dependencies as well as any issues which may be present within them. To see this, go to Security Compliance and click on Dependency List. Here, you can see the list of dependencies as well as their location, which may be one of your containers. When you click on it, you'll see vulnerabilities sorted from critical to low. And when you click on one, you'll get a full description of the vulnerability. We've also introduced SAS to scan execution policies. Users can now require SAS scans to run on a regular schedule or as part of a project CI pipeline independent of the .gitlab CI YAML. This enables even more separation of duties, not allowing developers to change the configuration and allowing security teams to manage what scans are run. Now let's create and enforce a SAS policy. We can go to Security and Compliance and click on Policies. Then click on New Policy. We can change the policies type to Scan Execution and here, let's edit a few fields in order to enable SAS scanning. Make sure to set enabled to, to true, as well as making the scan action type SAS. Then just click on the create merge request and you'll have an MR with a SAS execution policy. And as always, you can see that the static analysis analyzers have been updated. We've updated spot bugs, PMD, SAMGREP, and GOSEC within this iteration. This is part of our effort to continuously update all the open source tools we use and maintain them within our infrastructure. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. For more information on the 14.6 release, please check out the links in the description. There will also be a link to this particular blog post. Thank you.